jaw-dropping testimony and riveting photos in a murder-for-hire case in Texas where a medical doctor stands accused of hiring a hitman to kill his ex-girlfriend. As Jim Murray reports, cops say the plot was foiled when they got wind of what was being planned. They are terrifying photos. A kidnap victim gagged and bound to a chair. But the woman is alive and well. Those photos totally staged. All part of a sting operation set up by police. Megan Varikos worked with cops to stage the crime scene after learning that her ex-boyfriend had allegedly hired a hitman to murder her. I was terrified. She's speaking out for the first time, testifying in the trial against her ex, Houston surgeon Dr. Leon Jacob. She held back tears on the stand, describing what she went through. I sat in a chair in a warehouse and um, they zip tied my hands and my feet. Um, and put duct tape around my mouth to make me look as if I had been kidnapped. I was crying and really upset. Dr. Jacob is accused of setting up the murder for hire plot to get rid of his ex because she had him charged with stalking and he risked losing his medical license. Prosecutors say Dr. Jacob approached this decorated U.S. Army veteran, Lotaz Isaiah, and offered $20,000 and two luxury watches to make her go away forever. The ex-soldier later worked with police to build the case against Dr. Jacob. I just need to take care of me. In a shocking twist, cops say Megan wasn't the only target. They say Jacob's new girlfriend, a veterinarian named Valerie McDaniel, also wanted to do away with someone. In her case, her ex-husband, Mac McDaniel. She owed him $1.25 million and was worried he would take away their daughter they even hired the same hitman. So just like Megan, Mac McDaniel posed for these gruesome stage photos to make it look like he had been shot in the head. The blood is actually pig's blood. Did the officers ask you to do something for them? They did. What did you do for them? Stage my own death. Was that hard to do? Beyond, unimaginable. This body cam footage obtained by 48 Hours shows the moment cops told Valerie that her ex-husband was dead. Look at that performance and those fake tears. Notice her boyfriend is also there, Dr. Jacob. But police don't keep up the charade for long. They are both handcuffed. Right now we're going to read you your rights. Both of you have been arrested for solicitation of murder. As if this case didn't have enough twists and turns, now comes another. Two weeks after her arrest while out on bail, Valerie McDaniel jumped off the balcony of her seventh floor condo in Houston. Just before her suicide, she recorded this confession on her iPad. I didn't wake up one day and just say, hey, I want to kill my ex-husband. Now, one year later, these two victims are sharing their harrowing stories in court, hoping it will put Dr. Jacob behind bars. He took the stand to profess his innocence. I never asked to have anybody hurt, killed, harmed, um, kidnapped. Dr. Jacob faces life in prison if convicted.